testosterone with decadurabolin. Test deca. This is without question one of the most common combinations of steroids from the 1970s up to today. This is going to be for harm reduction. This is why I'm here. This is one of the most powerful steroids combinations used in the world. Any man that just wants to get big and strong from pro bodybuilders on off-season cycles. It's not a cutting combination. Strong men, power lifters, common guys in the, in the basement that are benching. NFL players back in the 70s and 80s. This is the combination of drug I, they've told me they've used. This is an educational series to give information to the world for men that are using this classic combination that need to understand exactly the benefits and why, scientifically, why it's used, and of course, the side effects in truth for harm reduction and to be progressive in the world and to teach people what to do so they can make the decision for themselves. Benefits of this combination is because testosterone with decadrobalin is actually quite well tolerated. It's true. It's a mild anabolic steroid, decadrobalin. You can see my video on that. And when I talk about DECA, there's also another drug called nandrolone phenylpropanate, NPP. And I, I think I'll discuss these together. To, to, for me, in this combination, in this series, I see them interchangeably. I understand there are differences. And thank you so much for the man that brought that to my attention. I do appreciate that. The strength, <clears throat> the strength and the size on this combination is absolutely unbelievable and men do it. This is what happens in the world. Now, that's known, everyone knows that. What is not known and what do men end up using this combination looking for? There's pain relief. It's a pain relieving drug. So there's actually doctors in the world that prescribe it mainly with testosterone, the anti-aging doctors in America, but all over the world because it provides arthritis and pain relief. Where do you see it? You see it in powerlifters, from the professional to the average guy. Again, NFL players, any man that has a joint injury, joint, shoulder, elbow, knee, not so much the back, that's kind of a different deal, but you will hear this from men saying that when they take this combination, it's like a miracle for them when they're on it. What's the mechanism of action on how this pain relieving aspect, the musculoskeletal aspect, it's a steroid. So of course you're gonna get that anabolism effect synergistically with testosterone. Now, what are the real unique features from this nandolone class drug? The effects on soft tissue, synovial joint, thought to be mediated in part from increase in aldosterone, that increased lubrication effect versus like Winstrol, which is a drying effect, and you see more injuries on that. And this is anecdotal, amazing information for decades. There's an anti-inflammatory effect, like a cortisone injection, but that's a catabolic steroid. And the orthopedic surgeon who does this is very careful with giving too many of those injections to a person over the course of years. There's some increase in collagen cross-linking in that tendinous apparatus. Orthopedic surgeons, physical therapists, experts in musculoskeletal scientists, please give comments on this. That's incredible what I just presented. There's no real true end studies on this, but it's so much anecdotal studies, and there are case studies, and there are hypotheses on this, but that's where it comes from. Now, in fact, men tell me over the years that then when they're on this test in DECA, they get stronger, they feel better as far as wellness, and they have less injuries. And then they come off, they have more injuries. So it looks like it is synergistically anabolic. This we have to discuss. Is it true? Is it true that it's protective? If it's protective, test DECA, why wouldn't more men be on it? There are side effects. Let's talk about that. And of course, we need studies. And that's what my life is going to be all about from this point on going forward, looking at studies, legitimate studies and harm reduction and providing ethical effects and ethical data, educational for men that are using these agents. We have to look at this now, straight in the face. The harm reduction aspect, what is the side effects? So what are the bad effects of this combination? Those are the good effects. 
musculoskeletal, big and strong. The water gain. Okay, if I nail it down, basically, let's look at it simply. There's an increase in water gain, secondary to the increase in the aldosterone effects. Aldosterone is an endogenous hormone. It's an adrenal hormone, and it regulates sodium and potassium and volume, intravascular volume, and sodium retention follows that. It's edema you see in the puffiness in the face and the body and the muscles superficially, big and strong, kind of round, smooth, puffy, but strong muscles. But you also will get it in the arteries. That's an increase in blood pressure. And of course, with that, over time, affects in the cerebral arteries, the heart itself, also in the kidney. So we have to be very, very careful to understand that. And this is synergistic in addition to testosterone alone. Dacodurabone has greater effects with testosterone, depending on who the person is, for those aldosterone effects. Any kidney experts here, please give comments. This is renal physiology, okay? Urologists know this stuff too. So there's also the progestational effects of nandrolone class drugs. There's a synergy, so you're gonna get increase in intravascular volume. It's a hydrostatic, it's a, it's a hydraulic pressure issue. So your pressures are up. You'll see that even young men on testosterone and other steroids like oral steroids, blood pressure is normal. Of course, if you get older, this stuff is all more sensitive because you're just getting older. But you'll see young men, they're hypertensive on this. Of course, they're young, so they think it's benign, but they are hypertensive. And we have to consider those effects, and that's the harm reduction. So NPP, we talked about that, it's shorter acting. Maybe it has less secondary effects, progestational effects. It's thought to have that. If you get the information, let's give comments. Any chemist or endocrinologist, let's talk about the difference for the decadrobin and, uh, and phenol, nandrolone phenylpropanate. I don't know. I'm wondering if there really is an effect. Men have said that more men use NPP these days versus decadrobin. Let's see. Give comments. What else? How can you prevent the increase in water load? What can you do? Keep the doses down. Keep the times under the area of the curve. Keep it all down. Be very careful with this. Also, salt, harm reduction. If you're getting intravascular edema and you're sensitive to this, you'll see that keeping salt down less than 1,500 milligrams a day of sodium chloride, you have to look at, not just I don't add sat, salt, doc, check the salt. Every bite you take, analyze the salt content. If you keep it under 1,500 milligrams, this is the information we give patients that are just hypertensive, the DASH diet, it works. So this is gonna help you protect yourself from that intravascular edema, that increase in blood pressure that can affect obviously your health over time cumulatively. Fruits and vegetables, remember, it's having aldosterone effects and sodium potassium regulation, so fruits and vegetables. And that's the health, that's why people are healthier on fruits and vegetables, and we always mention that. Next, and this is where the real harm reduction comes from an expert physician who can prescribe medicines. I'm going forward and coming up with software digital app that is going to be uncensored where I'm going to talk about exactly the drugs that can be used. It, YouTube, this information they don't mind, but they don't want me giving specific drug combinations, prescription drug combinations. And I understand that because I can't just say, hey, this is a drug class and here's what we do for a case study and then someone's going to do it and they're going to get hurt. You have a fingerprint, you have allergies, you have, every single person needs a history and physical, and it's tailored. I'm doing it around the world for men, but I'm limited. So this future, this software digital future, is going to provide this the closest I can to a diagnostic app where it's going to break down permutations and combinations of medicines you can use while you're on steroids to protect yourself. And always the recommendation, and no blessing on steroids, is don't do it. Keep the doses down, keep the time down, keep the total doses and other steroids down. This is all common sense, but we know people use steroids. This is the next progressive step. Details on this going forward. Obviously, it's in regard for this aspect to the fluid retention, to hypertension, to protect the heart and the kidneys, not to wrench on cerebral vascular arteries and stroke. There are classes of drugs that I will say that I'll discuss and I prescribe and I'll be very careful on this app to we are laying it out specifically with a very special artificial intelligent tool. Diuretics, ACE inhibitors, ARBs, 
calcium channel blockers, special beta blockers. There's a whole class of drugs and other drugs. These are my medical secrets that I'll be giving very appropriately, but it's going to be uncensored app. You have to follow me over there, please. Next, the effects on the heart. Beyond the hypertension, there's lipids, there's the left ventricle. You have to get a lipid panel. This I could say, get the lipid panel, get an advanced lipid panel, get an echocardiogram. If you have an enlarged ventricle or structural issues with your heart, you're gonna to wanna to know that, it'll save your life. The coronary artery calcium score, you can get that. It's a 20 second CT scan of the chest, very limited radiation. It's dirt cheap in this country, in America, and I know it's all over the world, in Europe, in the Middle East, in South America, in Asia, because I talk to men every single day on, uh, on Zoom, and, and they get this done. And we discover amazing things that can be prevented. We're forestalling disaster. It's so easy. Your family history. If you have heart disease early and you're a man, you're going to want to be very careful and get extra protection specifically just for you. Other medical issues. Just last week, two men, congenital heart issues, electrical issues, valvular structural issues, bicuspid valve, for example, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Good doctors know this, but you're out of touch with good doctors. I need to put you in touch with my software and my digital ways back with doctors. You're going to go to doctors and you're going to take them the data that you've already filled out and you already have it ready and you're going to bring it to the doctor and the doctor is going to know what to do. You're going to know how to utilize your specialists. I'm going to do this for you. No gurus. You can't have gurus doing this, obviously. They're not medical experienced providers. You need to have this done, please. So, on the app, there are going to be heart protective medications. For endothelial, that's the inner wrapping of the artery, that's your life preservation against abnormal lipids. The effects structurally from anabolic steroids on the wall of the arteries itself and the myocardial tissue. Please pay attention to this. I've been doing this for myself and for my patients very conservatively and very ethically for almost 15 years now. So please, we are going to go forward with this, but it has to be man per man. You need a detailed history. I'm going to lay it out for you, and then we're going to direct it with the experts, with evidence based means as much as we have, and then at the end, it's common sense. You keep the structural and the dangerous forces down. There are medicines, of course, diet and exercise. Of course, don't do the steroids. Everyone knows this, but people are doing steroids. And so many of you are so conservative and use light doses. And men who use light doses of steroids for years and years absolutely do better than men that use heavy doses. Men that don't drink that much or don't drink versus men that drink a gallon of vodka per day. This is a spectrum. That's why I'm here. So this is what we're teaching doctors, and you are interested, and young men are doing this, and we have to provide these educational services for each man to make his decision, and you are going to control your own health today and going forward, and I'm going to help you do that. Fertility, obviously, is going to be an issue. Limit the use of this drug with the testosterone. Is human chorionic gonadotropin? That's definitely the drug that I use for most men. Clomid, it makes men feel horrible. Anti-estrogens and tamoxifen, it's for breast cancer and for, for limited sensational gynecomastia. It's HCG, but on cycle with it, you're gonna be more puffy and more intravascular edema. Off cycle using it, we have to study this more. That's what I'm talking about. Next, prostate. This is a huge topic. BPH versus prostate cancer, no young man is going to have prostate cancer, but if you're on androgens, exposure, estrogenic exposure, progestonic exposure, and other exposure from these combinations, this combination, classically, will it cause lower urinary tract symptoms. I do see it. Young men don't get this, but if you're in your 30s and 40s, that's young to me, and I see these symptoms. So we have to talk about that. Keep the doses down. Is NPP by itself better versus decadurabolin? Is DECA by itself better? DECA only. That was the whole concept. DECA only, less androgenicity. Absolutely amazing. Look at these. Look at these comments. Get the comments coming out. But when you use it with testosterone, it really will affect the prostate. So again, keep the doses down. 
keep the, the Times area under the curve down with all the other drugs. PD-5 inhibitors, Viagra, Cialis, Levitra can help, but can you live on it? On their side effects of that. I don't like DHT blockers for nanolone drugs because remember, you're going to get more of a powerful androgenic compound that's the parent compound versus the metabolite going forward. See that video on that. And I don't think using DHT blockers for men that are even on testosterone are going to be sustainable and effective. You can see videos on finasteride uh, and, and dutasteride. You have to see urologists. We're talking about the prostate. I work with excellent urologists all over the world, mainly in America, and they do understand that men have utilized steroids and now they have a cumulative effect, for an example, in their prostate. Now, these are men in their 40s and up to 70s and the BPH and I see prostate cancer. I do see it. You have prostate cancer because you're an older man and then you start testosterone. That's going to be an issue. We have to research that. What can we do for that man for today? You can't feed a prostate cancer androgen. That's my opinion. There's going to be some cowboys in the world that will argue that, but that's unethical in my opinion this day and age. We'll have to go forward. Sex. It's man per man. DECA only, I'm amazed to, to, to admit that some men on DECA only feel great, but DECA dick, see the video, see the mechanisms. Many men on DECA feel terrible sexually, they get DECA dick. So testosterone and DECA, two to one ratio, testosterone DECA. So harm reduction for that is going to be, that's a lot of drug combination. Again, it's going to lead to the edema, it leads to the side effects. Not to mention the hair loss, the acne, the puffiness, the gynecomastia, because you're using it all with testosterone. So if you keep the doses of testosterone down low, now you're going to have side effects of decadurabone. You see the vicious cycle? That's why we have to discuss this. This is absolutely amazing. But always men in the bro science guys in the blog say, have your carbergeline ready. I, I know all about carbergeline. I've seen so many men use carbergeline. I've even tried carbergeline. I don't think it's sustainable. You can't just use test and DECA or DECA by itself or NPP and think you're going to have some carbergeline. It has side effects. I don't think it's deadly side effects, but men, you can't just, and you're buying the stuff on the internet. I'm going forward. We're going to have wide open discussions. Men are going to come on the app. We're going to have a whole show and a talk show. It's going to be completely uncensored. I'm censored here, which is how it goes. So I have to be very careful. So I really hope this helps everyone. Test DECA is a classic combination. Let's rip it open. Let's talk about it. Let's just see it so we can go forward and provide this amazing educational opportunity for men in the world. And I really hope this helps heal men in the world. Thank you so much.